So my son was born uh, five months ago here in New York, so he's a New Yorker, I guess, and um, we are planning to raise him here in the city. Um, <clears throat> so, so yeah, we spoke, we spoke English, and then with, with time, you know, I learned a few words in Russian, and then she learned a few words in Italian, but she doesn't speak Italian, and I don't speak Russian, it just, it, but uh, so sometimes right now, when I talk to my wife, it's like a mix of really three languages. I I could say maybe I say ciao, ciao, love, uh, cocktail love, and it's three languages right there. Ciao is ciao in Italian, uh, love, uh, cocktail love is how are you. Uh, uh, so you know that's that's like three languages, and I I don't I don't think about it anymore. Sometimes I just like use the Russian word and I don't know what that comes from. I guess it's it's more intimate when you use the language of the other person. It goes back and forth. But we so we have our own language. We created our own language here. It's like a you know Podjo Carboot language with a Carboot it's her last name. And so I guess our son would you know would be you know would be raised in that kind of um, polyglot situation so it's I really hope it's gonna be able to pick up all three of those languages definitely English because you know it's he's from here I do want to teach him Italian and it's it's a bit hard you know because my wife speaks Russian and uh, she sees my son more than I see my son so uh, plus she's a mom so you know I, I, he probably He's probably gonna pick up Russian quicker than it, it will pick up Italian. But I'm I'm still trying, you know. I, and I talk to him in Italian, and uh, because we know that we're gonna send him to school, and he's gonna learn English here, and then he's gonna teach me English, <laughs> and teach my wife English. Ciao. Ciao.